Uh, yeah, that would be fine. I think I had a like, pistol or something as well. Yeah, this. Definitely better mods for this. I don't like the little sight thing on it. Ah, uh, I'll do, I guess. We're not carrying much, which is good. Because it means our thingies will recharge quicker. And these two both have weapons, which is good. Oh, we have six points. Um, put it in cryo ammo. I think it's probably better. Uh, we'll go with that. Uh, these two have levels as well. Um, overload is useful. Uh, we'll go with that one. That could be useful. Liara has five as well. Uh, stasis, why not? Just two powers in a row. Well, I guess. We'll go with that one. It could be useful. And look at all that Paragon. It's almost maxed. It's very good. I think we're done now for all the upgrades and stuff. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Yep. I suspected. The beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Yep. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Yeah, I remember it. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. I imagine it will be. You always did prefer a straight up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. Oh, yeah. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. Yeah, they do have it rough. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Any idea whether it's part of the Crucible? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. Looking forward to With shooting. Luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Yeah, right. That's not gonna happen, is it? So I'm probably gonna be really rusty at this. Just putting that out there right now. Not played for like a month or so. So it should be a fun experience no for me. Survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Okay. What I wanna do first is get Sendry ammo on because I imagine we're fighting Cerberus. It was a beautiful colony. Um, yeah, that's probably about it. All right. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nope. Nobody does. Got some stuff in here I can loot. Anything? Salvage? Yes. Can I salvage this? Nope. Got some ammo here. Med kit. What is this? Nothing. Uh, might be some other stuffs in here. That looks some other time. We'll take on more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. Colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform a tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight an entire colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Lovely. service data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Oh, good. I we'll found something uh, useful then. Now then, where am I going here? There. 
That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Well then, let's go. Let's get down this elevator. <laughs> Lift. Goddess, so. that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Oh, cool. Like the collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos, but this one is alive. <sighs> You're right. That doesn't sound possible. I knew this was a DLC. The stasis chambers in the archives on oh, well. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Yeah, I'm curious what about it too. about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You'd think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. Cool. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Yep. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. Oh, good. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Right, tell them. Oh, look. They almost ran us over. Cool. Alright, first taste of combat for a while. Let's see how I do. Oh God. Well, that was pretty stupid. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I'm getting sniped a lot. There's lots of nemesis. That's the problem. God damn it. Have that. Okay, we got one. So if we can get him out of cover, yeah. Thank you, we are them. So if we can get this kid out. Is he dead? Alright, good. Let's get moving before more of them come back. I did kill them. Alright, good. I didn't die. Although my shields went down a couple of times. Now let's explore these little buildings here, see if we can loot anything. Because looting is good. Oh. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled out most of our troops from the north neighbourhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighbourhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were un understaffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Got some more credits there. There's more intel, so I suppose... This will go towards uh, thingamabobs. Uh, oh, what's going on here then? Is that, is that one of the guys we killed? Maybe? Possibly? Is there anything in here? Looks like there's a bunch of plants in here. Man, they're getting a showering. Man, they're gonna die soon. It's too much water. Anyways, we've got another building here. Oh god. We've got an engineer. Boom. Oh god, that's a turret. And he just walked past me, that's cool. Okay, uh, what do we do? What do we do here? We need to get rid of this shield. Oh good, I'm getting shot from this guy. I'm gonna die. Run! Okay, that could have gone better. But I did get flanked. Can't blame me. Uh, 